This video will show you how to make a ringtone for your phone or mobile device. The software I will be using is AVS Audio Tools. In this suite of tools I will be using the Ringtone Maker. As you can see, um, this program has several audio editing features. I'm going to start off by selecting uh, an MP3 I have that I want to make into a ringtone. I'm going to browse for the file. And select the MP3 file that I want to open. Now it's imported the entire file for me, but obviously I don't want to use the entire thing, so I'm going to cut a section of the song that I want to use as my ringtone. I'm going to start off by selecting it. And I'm going to click the Trim tool. And that's going to trim just that section, so I have just that section to work with. To the left and to the right, I want there's a part of this song that I just won't need so I'm gonna actually cut those parts out I actually wanna start my ringtone from right about here and click the delete tool and I wanna end my ringtone right about here so all this stuff here I don't need so I'm gonna delete that now towards the end of the song I want to have the ringtone fade out so I'm going to select that section and I'm going to click the fade out tool now I want my fade out to start at 100% since it's going to be playing at 100% and then it's going to go from 100% all the way down to about 10% so click OK and you can see it's faded out that selected section now that's about it. I'm pretty much done with my ringtone. I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'm going to be saving this particular ringtone to be put on an iPhone. So I'm going to save this ringtone in the my in my music iTunes iTunes Music slash ringtones directory. And again, you can click this and browse the directory, select the directory you want, click OK. Now I'm going to be saving it as an M4A file for iTunes. Um, you can change the sample rate and bit rate which will affect the quality and the size of the file but I'm going to keep it as is here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go into my Documents folder. I'm going to browse into my iTunes music folder. And it's ringtones directory. What I'm going to do now is rename my Cyclone ringtone. I'm going to add an M4R extension to it. It's going to ask you if you want to rename that extension. You want to push yes iTunes will recognize it as a ringtone file. Now some of you on Windows may not see your extensions. To view your extensions you can go to Tools, Folder Options, View, and uncheck the Hide Extensions for Gnome File Types checkbox and click OK. And that will actually show and display your file extension allowing you to rename it. So I'm done here. Now I'm going to open iTunes I'm going to go into the ringtone section and these are my current ringtones. I'm going to go to file, add file to library and I'm going to again browse to the directory where I've saved my ringtone. I'm going to select my cyclone ringtone, click open. iTunes is going to recognize the M4R extension. Go ahead and put it in my ringtones folder so there it is. Now I'm going to go to my iPhone and I'm going to go ahead and sync it. And that's it. Now it's on my iPhone. To view that ringtone and select it, I can go to Settings, Sounds, 
ringtone and select my new cyclone ringtone. It's notable to mention that I'm using iTunes version 7.5 which is the latest version on the Windows system and I'm also using the iPhone software version 1.12 which is the latest as well.